It was about that time we got this shiny. Yes, welcome in people. Hope that you're good and Wimpod is a shiny. That's not it, is now available. It goes, the purple bits become red and the main body becomes more white. And it's a sizable surprises event. XXS and XXL Pokemon are boosted for this event, which is great if you need to get those two medals platinum. I recommend you do, because getting towards level 50, those are probably one of the easiest sets of medals to get to platinum. However, we have some research to do. World of Wonders. Okay, finally, we've got the final stages. So 30 Pokemon, 15 stops, power up 20 times, and make 20 great throws for some Poipol candy. Again, Darby Russ, thank you very much for gifting me the wand ticket so we can get some more costume cherry blossom evolutions to get our ray pass and see the flareon is not shiny these can be shiny i was corrected and i think that's actually really nice that these evolutions can be shiny in this ticket of course the flareon doesn't catch really the other things to note in this event are shiny Wilma has a boost i guess it's a good thing let's get this 10 kilometer egg hatched for gumi and katana in an hour's time for me will be shiny in the raids for the first time. So hopefully some invites from Europe can come in. And Celestina in the Southern Hemisphere as an Espeon without the shiny, unfortunately. This will be the Umbreon. We do have a collection challenge you saw right at the bottom there. Not a shiny Umbreon, unfortunately. Are these gonna be any good? It's not even the smallest wind bulb we've ever found. It's a Hundo. That's an XXS Hundo that's here in the wild. What? <laughs> Our first catch of the event is an XXS Hundo Wimpod. One two eight. The one two one two eight. That's ridiculous. We didn't even know that was any. Nobody reported that. I need to tell people in the chat. That's mental. That's a ninety six Flareon, and those two are dead. Unbelievable. We do have a Hundo Golisopod from Donkeys years ago when it was first released. Actually, it was released last year, I think. But we'll get that to level fifty just because. Why the hell not? We don't even, we need Stardust, that's another thing. I need to max some things. <laughs> Wonder Ticket Part 3, we'll try and get that done this event as well, but we have to purify some Pokemon. And it's a shiny grind. Oh, shiny Binacle. <laughs> okay, we've started really strong on this event. <laughs> the Bicycle Nest is still very much active. That's mad. Hundo and Shiny in clip one. You can't really ask them much more. You might as well turn off people. I've got to be honest. No, we're going katana hunting as well when that pops into the raids. Chokes, dead, dead stats, but 12.44. Do I need to be here? I could just go home now. The other things to know, obviously, there is Citadel back in the world, which is nice. Love 100% of that. And we will begrudgingly check some Welma for you. So um, let me know in the comments below, obviously. Day one of this event, it runs through until next Tuesday at the end of the day. Have you got any shinies from it? Did you get the Wimpod shiny on day one? Shiny Welma, do you need that? And Katana and Celestina. It's a good time to jump into a global Discord. Mine is linked in the description. You can go and add people from Southern Hemisphere or Northern Hemisphere, whichever ones you need or want. We're not gonna go and do a Wiggly Tough raid. We're gonna get some more shinies people for the day. My thanks to Lachlan for our very first Celesteela remote raid all the way from Australia. And I don't remember the 100 percenters of these things. I think it's 1772. That rings a rough bell, but I could be completely wrong. I'm focusing on Katana. Katana is 2101 or 2626. We got the Traveler badge, obviously, because it's APAC, but it's not shiny on raid number one, which is a real shame. It's really lovely to see this duo back, actually, as the Ultra Beasts. They teased the Ultra Beasts not too long ago at the beginning of the season saying, oh look, they're all coming back. We've mostly had the Tapus featured, which I guess I know they're still Gen 7. It's really good to see Celesteela and more importantly Katana released as shiny. When they came back last year and they weren't released as shiny, a lot of us were a little bit like, hmm, really? Katana is the number one grass type in the game aside from shadows and some megas. That's the catch. Unfortunately, this good old Celesteela is pretty useless in Pokemon Go as this unless it gets a move up there. I mean, this is dead one, one star, two star. You know what I mean. Whelmer, it's a massive Whelmer. Get your XXS and XXL Pokemon captured and get those Wimpod checks. Now, there is a field research task for Wimpod is Catch 3 Wimpod, so we're chasing that. Most of the research tasks tend to lend towards themselves, so this is a Catch 3 Whelmer for a Whelmer. This, oh dear, it's Tynamo. That was Catch 5 Pokemon, by the way. Regarding the XXL and XXS Pokemon is if you can do, and you want to improve the level of your medal, trade them with people, you know, like for like on the XXL XXS front. And also, if you evolve them, it still counts as another Pokemon towards the medal. So 
one Pokemon, depending on how many stages it has, could equal two or three into your medal, which is actually a very, very lucrative way of boosting it to platinum. If we look, catch 20 Pokemon gives you, I believe, Snorlax. And I need Starla, so I might whack down Star Pieces and all kinds of stuff. Galissapod got a buff, actually, as well, not so long ago, so it's actually okay as a water type these days. Bag on! Coming up on Sunday, people. We're going to put some Stardust into this thing and roughly count how many times that's 50 when you need five more. And we've got a Wimpod quest to check as well. We finally found one. So this is a Wimpod that's not shiny, a 197 probably trash. There is a serious boost, unlike previous events where they said there's a boost on the XXS and XSL Pokemon. There seem to be tons of them around. I found so many tiny Joltik and so many huge to toddle. So that's actually quite good. But here we go. The uh, World of Wonders says three of five. Claim those. Get an encounter with... <sighs> really? Marini. That's tragic. Just it started to drizzle with rain as well. And of course, Marini didn't catch. What is it with research tasks Pokemon today not catching for me? That's like the only bit of misfortune. It still didn't catch. Am I seriously gonna have to golden uh, speed and efficiency? Does anybody else find that really irritating when a field research task doesn't catch multiple times? There's the candy for Poipol, and stage four is going to be five grunts, 25 different species. That might be a struggle with a little event like this, unless you do some random tasks. 15 research and explore 10k. 10 kilometers for seven pineapps. That, I'm sorry, somebody at Niantic should be going to prison for such a quest. Well, research tasks rewarded us with the Snorlax that we needed to complete the collection challenge. So there we go, we can actually get it done and dusted, ticked off the 10 pineapp berries. <laughs> that is just horrendous. And an encounter with Whelmer. Are we serious right now? Whelmer was released the Shiny, I think in 2018. So it's one of the more ancient Shinies in the game and now, in 2024, it gets a shiny boost. Yeah, seriously? Why? It's been in Go Fest, it's been in Water Festivals, it's been in so many things. And they go, now, 2024, April, is the time for a Whelmer boost. I need to do some walking, send some gifts, and find some shadows to battle and purify. This is not the most stable platform, but we've had a Katana invite from Spain. Thank you to the chap who sent this over. Oh, 2039 is apocalyptically bad, but will it be shiny? And shiny Katana is something I'm definitely down to. Like for like, lucky trade. Oh yeah, I think it was actually a Liverpudlian family we met way back at the Ultra Beast Survival event in London, 2022. Ping, it's not shiny. It goes a silver and there's the blue and orange accents on there. So Katana also has one of the tiniest hitboxes because it is a very small Pokemon. So definitely worth raiding this one. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I'd highly recommend jumping into some lobbies for Katana if you can do. There's the excellent throw. This is a much more usable Pokemon than Celesteela. And if you want to see me catch 100% of it, go and check out that video where we were actually playing Rock and Roller Community Day and we did a raid at the oldest inn in England and it gave us the Hundo Katana. Okay, this thing's gonna put up a fight because it's bad stats, so we're gonna catch this off camera. But there's stops and spawns in the shopping center we need to go and check. Quickly figured out of the AR Plus mode, incensed in a shiny Diglett. And I don't think we've had a shiny Diglett since we were in Italy in May of last year. Lovely little shiny, obviously a bit more of a subtle one in terms of the details, but won't say no to it as an insect attacks me. And blue ball for a blue nose shiny. It's gotta be done. Why the hell not? I do prefer it. Actually, no, tell a lie. Top hat digglers. We got one for the fashion week, I think. And we're doing a 24 hour challenge for it. There we go. Diglett picked up. Do you have to reverse here? Dead one star, unfortunately. So not even an hour into the event and we've already bagged two shinies, which is actually mad. We're gonna burn another raid pass on Celesteela because it is from the one and only Brandon Tarn. Thank you very much, dude, for the invite. Maybe the shiny Celesteela will grace us with this presence. As I said, I think on the live stream for Raid Hour, by the way, thanks everybody who's popped by the Spola Hour and the live stream for Raid Hour. Both very shiny fields, shiny Zubat and double Tapu Lele, so very good shiny odds. I'm not gonna chase the Celesteela too hard because history teaches us Remember, the two times that Katana and Celesteela have been around, the first release was 2022. They were in their respective hemispheres for, I think, two weeks, and that was it. Last year, 2023, they came back again. No shiny potential, but halfway through their raid rotation, they decided to swap them. So we ended up with Celesteela here in the Northern Hemisphere for the first time. And I reckon 
next year, potentially even towards the end of this year, we could see that the Celesteela and Katana swapping hemispheres with the shiny potential. So don't feel too guilty about not chasing the one that isn't in your respective hemisphere because you'll have another opportunity, that's for damn sure. Although Katana is a hell of a lot easier to take down than the Celesteela. Not that a lobby of 18 is gonna struggle, let's put it that way. So. Reshiram army, Zekrom army, very much doing the business versus the Ultra Beast version of Skarmory. And in the bin it goes. I should have looked up the Hundo CP, but I didn't bother. So, 1749, I'm pretty sure it is 1772 for the 100%er. But level up with Brandon Tarn, which is nice. We're getting towards best friends. And winner raid task is really good. Something with a shadow shiny Mewtwo, the lucky devil, and not shiny, unfortunately. But it's good to see them with the backdrop. But even though we've had the backdrop here for like the best part of a month, I could hot foot it to a katana on Ealing Common, which I think I'm going to do. And then we've got a double, Haven Green and a church in the opposite direction. So probably three katanas coming up. That's a catch, beautiful. Counterclockwise is all you need to do. Three XL candy, and it's not too bad, actually. Is that 89%, 91? I think it's 91%. Oh, I didn't mean to claim that. That's okay, we'll do this instead. Claim the one rare candy, because I think this is a Wimpod task, from what somebody told me. Yes, it is, so I need to find a Whelmer. It's a little bit risky, this camera angle, and also the ease of which Katana can be taken down. So a couple of APAC folks in there, and some Patreon members, too. 2075 is getting up there, but we want to see it sparkle. I've seen Fleece King did five Katana remotes and got three shinies out of it. So some people's RNG for this thing is going to be through the roof. Others, possibly like myself, will find out. It might be quite bad, but Shadow ho 98% of the 50 is doing the business. Fantastic. Shiny Katana? Sadly not, but I will take all the XL candies, and these are really good to trade, so I'll be keeping all of them and swapping them for an excellent throw, beautiful. They are starting to pop up, which I'm loving. I like the frequency of it, particularly since they're not here for as long as the Tapus. The Tapus are here for two weeks each. This is only in for about eight days. And while we stroll back to do another Katana raid, I've got three Wimpod quests here. So we're gonna get a shiny, alas, no. And I don't know the Hundo off of the top of my head from field research, so we'll just catch them as we go, shall we? Check, glitch. So we'll check the wild one in the midst, come on. Not the shiny, unfortunately. Can we get into the encounter? They need to patch this. If you're on social media, you might have seen the news. They've removed the regular AR mode, so you can't do AR quick catching anymore, which is such a shame. That was the hardest way to grind, the fastest method to catch things. And they take that away, but then they don't fix things like the field research task glitch where you can't actually access your own research task. And it's really irritating. Niantic priorities in the wrong place, I've got to be honest. Fix the things that are in the game before removing things that work. That's not shiny. Three for three, or technically four for four. And uh, no sign of a whelmer with a shiny boost. <laughs> I hope there's not too much traffic noise on this one. Second katana of the three that we found on campfire. And 2089. That's not actually too bad. Obviously, if we can get it north of, I think 2095 is a 98 percenter. Wouldn't be too bad to have this one as a shiny. I've got to be honest, IV wise, it's not, unfortunately. Two balls on camera. And while we throw those two balls, I'll give you a little backstory as to how, I don't know, maybe my fondness for Katana has come about. Because back in 2021, we used to live stream the Pixelmon Minecraft mod from home. And in that, if you find one of the Ultra Beast wormholes, the Ultra Wormholes in the sky, you can jump into it and it takes you to the Nether, which is basically the Ultra Beast dimension. And the first ever Ultra Beast I found in that mod pack was Katana and we caught it after a fairly long battle. Hey, comment below if you remember the Pixelmon live streams. They were a throwback. I still enjoy the mod pack, I just don't have the time to play it, unfortunately. So I'm gonna break my own rules and throw three balls on camera and completely mess up the throw. Maybe this will get it. One and no, out straight away. Well, that other katana actually despawns a lot sooner than I expected, but we do have three Wimpod checks from quests. So having found out 215 is your research 100%er, that's obviously not it. I'm not going to bother researching the Shundo Whelmer because, well, I mean, it'd be funny for a showcase to get an XXL Shundo. Check two is not shiny and oh, 201. Final one of the tree before. Ooh, tiny Wimpod. Very nice. Uh, not a tiny Hundo this time. I <laughs> can't believe we started the video with a tiny Hundo. That's jokes. But now I want to go and get a coffee. That is very much needed and I wanted to pet me up properly. We're going to go walking because we've got a lot of walking we need to do we need to explore another five kilometers but we also need to earn two more candies walking our buddy and um 
stuck with guns and using enamorous to get XL candy, so that's going to be a long, long haul. I've been sat on this for way too long. 147 CP Galerian Articuno. Good to see that back. Coffee in hand, had to find somewhere to put the coffee down. But I want to check, is this anywhere near 100% potential? So the GoHub article right to the very top for the Galerian Articuno and it's not going to be there. 159 would be a guaranteed one. So unfortunately 147 doesn't float our boat, but a little low CP does mean we could potentially not miss an extent. We were close on that one, come on. So close. It's going to break out and will it give us a second chance? Sadly not. Such a shame. That was a bad throw, unfortunately, but we're nearly at the end of our route, so we might as well just proceed in this direction and see if we get our Zygarde cell. How's your Zygarde cell grind going? I know I've seen some people, shout out to Del Hazard, Dwayne on the Patreon squad, who um, has already got his complete form Zygarde. Unbelievable. The reason I'm not on such a grind, if you go and check out my Zygarde video, mine was terrible 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 stats did we even get a zygarde cell i have a horrible suspicion we didn't that's why we use roar of time people another galerian articuno i'm just doing it because we're doing roots at the moment we've roar of time for 20 minutes so 675 we don't have to go very far down the spreadsheet to see 675 does nothing for us we need it to be 701 this is still very low level so without knocking over my nice coffee let's try and get an excellence on this thing. Zapdos is definitely the easiest to hit. This is mid. Moltres, I've never managed to even hit more than a nice throw on it. <sighs> Do we just go for it? Do we just go for it? We just go for it. Okay. Golden Raz Curva. Instant breakout. Wow. Maybe the excellent was the wrong strat. Did we get a Zygarde cell <laughs> for another route? We didn't. Back to back routes, no Zygarde cells. That's just rude. Come on, game. Our fourth remote of the day comes from Rated K over in Belgium for a 2082. That's very similar to the one we had before. Sue and Tom L were in that lobby. Shiny! No, not a Belgian shiny. It's a shame. Haven't seen another Katana raid or Ultra Beast wormhole on the tier five raids for gyms so far again. <laughs> Where's the daily adventure incense? Oh, it spawned a tiny bit. Never mind. Finally, stage four of the World of Wonders and the encounter. Could be shiny. Assuming Quillfish. Did it catch? I really hope it did. Yes. 50 more Poipor candy. That's good. And stage 5 of 5 is still to be decided. So I, su I suspect that's going to come in May. One final stage. Ooh, tiny Joltic. Seriously, the boost for XXS and XSL Pokemon is the greatest it's ever been. It's unreal. And our final remote is going to a Belgian Katana from Jeroen. 026 thank you dude for the invite maybe you can bring me some shiny luck with <laughs> 2010 ouch comfortably the worst one we have encountered so far but usually a bad iv signifies a shiny potential so maybe the final remote <sighs> no no it's just generally trash but if you're gonna be caught it's xl candy and that's how you've got to view these Legendaries, that's how I view them anyway, or technically Ultra Beasts actually, they're not legendaries, they're not even Pokemon. No throw bonus tends to have served us quite well recently, but even that didn't warrant a catch. Maybe a great throw as a Bumblebee comes in. It's not your time. Wait for the bug out event. By the way, the bug out event, let me know your thoughts and feelings below. It got announced last night. I think it's comfortably one of the worst events we've ever seen. There's no new shiny, no new Pokemon, Theoretically, the only new thing, which isn't even being released with the bug out event, it's being released the day after in a raid day, is Mega Heracross. And Mega Heracross is set to become the best fighting and bug type in the game. Definitely go out next Saturday, the 13th of April. It's gonna be worth it. Stock up on the Mega Energy, hopefully get yourself a good one, because it's not been in raids and stuff, really, I think, since, goodness me, it was in eggs and things like that for GoFest London, I know that for sure. We hatched a shiny XXS one, I think. Yeah, bug out event. Combi is a boosted Dustmon, has a shiny boost, as does something else. But it's just, it's just old bug types. Terrible, really. Can this thing get in the ball? And I'm not throwing the best throws in the world, but seriously, there's an excellent. That's much more like it. One roll, two roll, and a three roll. There we go. We just have to actually do the correct throws. 2010 is going to be very, very low down. In fact, it is the 10, 10, 10. Nice, thank you, Jerome. <laughs> we need to earn another candy walking your buddy, so that's seven and a half K to do. We can definitely achieve that.
We're between a rock and a hard place for this check. It's either horrendous wind or 2053, very mid, or all the traffic noise, so you take your pick. We're gonna go for a mix of both. Land or Alpha, thank you for jumping in. We get the level up with the friendship and five blast toys mega energy. Really? From a raid? I gotta be honest, I'd rather have a rare candy than blast toys mega energy. Not shiny, but we do get a nice wooded background because we're in the thick of the forest here, as you can see. Pretty much bang in the middle in terms of IVs. I'm gonna throw one nearly it would have been an accident had the thing not attacked there's a katana that way that's already hatched and there's another one hatching in four minutes here so we got a trio coming right up a lot of time has passed probably since i was last on camera i'm just checking quests and, and catching everything i want to restock on stardust so a bit of a good old-fashioned grind session we'll look at the total i've done 16k today in um four and a half five hours four twelves i have a star piece on so there's some good stardust coming. Dino, that really needs to get out of 12 km regs. Pancham, I wouldn't mind another shiny. This one is the Pawniard, wouldn't mind a shiny of that. And finally, Pancham, again, wouldn't mind any hundo. I don't think so. I think they're all gonna be fairly trash. Yeah, okay, fine. Right, we're carrying under a bus stop because the rain has decided to come down. UK, what can you expect? 2042. Ah, a little bit worse than the last one, but that's okay. And thanks peeps who jumped in, there were six extra peeps. Did we get anything good for an in-person raid? I think in-person raiding should guarantee a rare XL candy. That would be an incentive to get people going raiding hardcore. Thanks Jamal for jumping in, way spotters, and not the shiny. Why do I have a feeling that Katana's give me the, gonna give me the runaround? Keep your eyes pinned on the channel if you're wanting to join for Katana Raid Hour. We're gonna be asking you guys to drop your comments for the Bag on Combe Classic vlog on Sunday, same time that episode 165 of the Incensed podcast releases. So Sunday's a big day, there's a lot going on. I'm gonna throw one more ball, counterclockwise great, before we jettison off to the next one. Easy, easy, easy. Counterclockwise for the win, four XL candy because we have the Primal Groudon boost and it's two star. Still walking the candy for our buddy. Ah, oh, we must be close. We're getting there. Two and a half, 2.4k to go, but that rain, I mean, the, the gym is out of sight. It's all the way back the way we came. Well, let's see, 2082. So it's sort of back up there, but we have had one of those before. Key thing is, thanks GoCast Chris for jumping in. Two or three Patreon members too. Rare XL candy, that's what I like to see. Fantastic, Lara Bear and Stewie Man. Shiny, come on. I did suspect it was gonna give me the run around, but to be fair, we've only done maybe 10 katana raids maximum. So still a long way to go. And bear in mind, you might have to go north for 50 or 60. Thanks to good old RNG. I hope we don't. Possibly my favorite Ultra Beast. Close between that and Zerkatry, but Zerkatry's shiny, I think trumps it. It's gonna be a pain to get that when they release it as shiny. Eh, ooh, 14, 14, 14, that's a 93. Not too bad, but not good enough for me to power up, I've got to be honest, but we're at 500 XL candy. Well, we're about to hit 20 kilometers walk for the whole day, and we finally done the earn the three candies walking your buddy. I mean, it's my bad for doing enamorous, but I want the XL candy to get us level 50. So these are probably the final set of evolutions with the flower crown. So again, thank you, Darby Russ, for the gifted ticket for the season. This is part two, we will get part three in May. That wasn't a shiny Leafeon. Glaceon is gonna glitch. This has been happening more and more often today. I don't know if it's just because the game progressively gets more tired or like more used. I need to restart the game or refresh the game data. Please let me encounter it. It's not shiny. Like it's one thing to say the shiny potential is there, which is really, really good. But if, if it's not gonna give you anything, Sylveon obviously not shiny, but really nice to see. I don't think I've ever seen that in the wild before because when I had my Shundo being best buddy, Zoru wasn't even in the game, so I couldn't test it. And 1297 is a dead sort of three star. <sighs> Wimpod, tiny Wimpods. Two check. Part two of the World of Wonders or the Wonder Ticket, done and dusted. And the glitch again with the research. I don't even know what task that was. <laughs> could have been Whelmer, could have been Wimpod. We'll find out a bit later. Were these any good? Mm, no, no, no. They're all very mid mediocre. Okay, so this is the perfect example of the UK right now. Literally 30 seconds after I finished that clip, this has just arrived. So it's like, it's just the bright sunshine, rain, bright sunshine, rain, and it's very irritating to play Pokemon Go with it. So we're hiding under a tree that isn't providing the best cover. It was about damn time we got this shiny. 
Perma Booster Shinies don't always seem to feel perma boosted for me, but oh my goodness me, Shiny Onyx off of Incense and it's triple five CP. Come on, ticking so many boxes. It's not a glorious green, let's say that. It's kind of, you know, you need to see your doctor if you're seeing this color. However, great, let's see if it's gonna be good on the stats. It very likely won't be. We're doing one final push for the Wild Spawns, because I think I've done majority of the quests around here for Wimpod. <laughs> That's a PvP thing, actually. What are the encounters on that? 1509. Third shiny of the day in the bag. I know it's technically the perma boosted one, but I will never say no to sparkles. And we finally put the spatial rend on. Getting a few more spawns without having to move so far. That's kind of the key thing. So I've saved myself the effort in the wrap up. I will definitely say utilize the collection challenge to your knowledge because it seems that the increase of XXL and XXS is very, very determined by the Pokemon. So it's not like random. The ones that are featured in the collection challenge for the tiny Pokemon, like Diglett and Wimpod and a few others, Joltik, I'm finding so many of those at XXS in the wild. However, the Pokemon that are boosted to be bigger, Snorlax, Whalmer, Onyx, etc., I haven't found a tiny one of those at all. So I very much think that it's determined by the Pokemon, which I'm not against, to be honest. I really don't mind. It's, it's funny. <laughs> Is there a, well, there's a Wimpod round somewhere? Okay down that side street, let's go. And with the weather turning very nasty indeed, and also my camera battery about to die, we're gonna wrap up this first day of the Sizable Surprises event here. So honestly, a very successful day. I didn't show it because we were doing the quest, etc. but during the process of trying to purify 10 Pokemon, we, at, well, I don't know what stats it was, it was 150 CP Shadow Pidgey at some point. It's now a purified Hundo. <laughs> so we've got two Hundos for the day. I can't believe we started the day with an XXS Hundo Wimpod on check one, that was insane but no shiny today, and that's sort of expected. If you get it day one, you are quite lucky. And also three shinies. I know they're not new shinies, but back in shiny binacle from the nest on clip one, insane. The Diglett, whenever say no to, and Onyx, it has a mega potential, obviously. It would be great if it was better stats, but Steelix still has some play in PvP somewhere. Well, let me know in the comments below what your day one was looking like. Did you bag the shiny Wimpoff from Quest or the Wild? Have you got the shiny Seller Steeler or Katana? Because chasing that Katana still. Thank you so much to every single one of my Patreon supporters. These are the folks who help continue to make producing content, being a live streamer and going to these live events like LA Sinotour and New York Go Fest in the future, a possibility. So thank you so much to all of those wonderful people. And there are still more people joining, which is just honestly heartwarming. Thank you so much for your support and the belief in me as a creator. There's a lot coming up. So tomorrow we're gonna do the Pokemon Center at the EUIC, well, the championships at the XL Center. We can have a little look and see what that's gonna look like and also hit some Katana raids and continue the chase for Shiny Wimpod. Saturday is the very first day of Shadow Entei with a Shiny potential being released into Pokemon Go. So we're gonna be doing a raid trade, hopefully for that, getting a few of those done back in the Shadow Shiny. I sincerely hope so. And Sunday, of course, is back on Community Day Classic, which is gonna be splendid. And I've said it before, but if you are in the local vicinity or or nearby West London or want to travel down, come and join us for Bag on Community Day Classic in Walpole Park in Ealing. It's going to be a smashing event. Hopefully, no rain. Go and check out either one of these bits of content you can see on the screen. There's going to be something possibly from, I don't know, maybe we'll put Pokemon Worlds up from 2022 on there when it was at the XL Centre in London and something else up here. But go and check them out if you enjoyed this video. And until the next time, do take care. As the camera falls down, that was good timing.